Hello viewers, happy 4th of July to you. We are, not we, I'm videoing of course, this is Susan, Butler Family Farms, and Jerry's getting his um, ribs, and these are the... They're my ribs, it's okay. <laughs> this They're is not okay. your ribs, They're, they were somebody else's, some, <laughs> some lifestyle. Ribs. Okay, these are the beef ribs that uh, are not exactly what he wanted. He wanted short ribs. Um, I did not find any on the day of, which is not the way to be prepared. So we're making do. We've got um, a roll of pork ribs all ready to go marinating. He's got this new method that he, was it a TikTok you saw this? No, I saw TV programs. TV, oh, one of his food uh, programs that he watches periodically says, you put mustard on your ribs before you put your seasoning on it or your ri ri uh, Rub. rubs or seasoning the mustard starts drying and adheres the seasoning to the ribs a lot better than using oil or butter or, or whatever so we are testing it out and if you think about it lo logically it does make sense so these are the beef ribs, pork ribs are done, we'll get the barbecue, the smoker barbecue going in a few and take a pause right now. I stopped before you got the rub on it, sorry folks. What, are you, what rub are you using on the beef? It's a uh, thing my sister got me, it's called Texas Rub. Yeah, my sister got it for oh, us. Oh, your sister got it. Yeah, we have got a barbecue kit a couple years ago and we're just now, it's been flavoring itself up. Yeah, we didn't have a barbecue that was any good. This is a Texas rub? Yeah. And then the uh, pork has the pork rub on it. Has a little different seasoning uh, mixture to it. Smells good. Can you smell it? Yeah. The pork one smells good too. That one has oregano and thyme in it. You can really really smell that and the mustard we're using is just French's mustard so there's no extra uh, seasoning flavoring no, other than flavor. just other just other than just well it's not like a Dijon no. mustard or a stone ground mustard which would put some different flavors in so it's just plain old yellow mustard Okay, all what kind of barbecue do we have now, Susan? Uh, we have a, a Pit Boss Pro Series. It's a combo smoker barbecue. Uh, the smoker is on wood pellets. We are big fans of wood pellets, and we've been uh, researching barbecues for about a year now. And um, I didn't want a huge monster because I wanted to be able to use it. Uh, and feel comfortable and I and I probably do do Jerry does most of it now because it has an app that he can uh, watch the temperature and the cooking part or actually the temperature is Wi-Fi wi so we will be able to use this uh, barbecue during the winter time as well just put on the jacket and go on out so he's gonna let this sit for a bit and then um, when he starts up with the barbecue, we'll start the video again. Almost forgot the camera. So we've got the pit boss up to 250, and now uh, we're throwing on the meat. Where's the meat? So pork ribs are on the right, and the um, beef ribs are on the top and bottom on the left hand side. We have a probe. And this is our electronics. Okay. All right. We really 
did research on this and I didn't want a big barbecue out here. I wanted, but I wanted it to, you know, fit our needs. And so it hosts a bag, a 20 pound bag of pellets. Now we got this at Lowe's, the barbecue pit, but we went to a local uh, place that uh, sells them quite a bit more, but they sell the pellets. And so we have four different flavors of pellets. And I believe it's the same that uh, we've started with. I don't think we've gone to a next, next. And it was filled up here to the top. And this is how long, I mean, how much we've used. We haven't been out here a lot, but um, I found on Amazon a few uh, cookbooks with recipes to help us out. And the wood is very hot on the feet, so I plan on getting an outdoor rug. Not sure if I'm going to go with my ruggables like I have in the house. I just might, but I want to get a washable kind. So, anyway, a little bit of rambling. Sorry about that. And the next part of this video will be um, supper. Turn it over. Okay, we're turning the ribs. Smells good. Yeah, that smells good. What's the um, uh, pellet flavor we got going? It's the uh, competition mix. It's oh. got uh, hick, uh, hickory and cherry, and, or yeah, cherry and um, uh, mystique in it. Three different flavors. It says for another hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes. Okay, we're on the two hour mark, and he's going to put more sauce on. And this is this one here is the uh, uh, for chicken and uh, and uh, pork. pork, and it's an apple. Yeah, it's an apple. Sauce, so here. Move it on. So they don't have a brush. using my grandmother's iced tea spoon because it has the long handle. This uh, Pit Boss is a combo uh, smoker and grill, so if we had the temperature up higher, we would be grilling, and we don't have it up high, so we're smoking. This one is for the, for all this. This is for the beef. Mm. 
Woo! And it's, it'll back a punch. And it's what's what's it what's it called? Whiskey. Bourbon. 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 Molasses barbecue sauce. So you like the bourbon part of it. Ooh. I hear a Gertrude someplace. Okay, well he's got the big one to do and then we've got another couple hours of cooking, so okay. we'll be back. End result. Gonna let it set, rest as they call it. For a little bit, and then uh, waiting on our cauliflower. Yeah, let's see how this and looks. And then we will be taste cut. I mean, a test cut. They're done. Yep. Great job. Beef. Pork's at the bottom. Pork's got some char. Ooh. Oh, careful. Burn yourself. Yeah, that's yeah, good. It looks good. Okay, so we're gonna let it rest and then we'll enjoy. Happy Fourth of July, twenty twenty two.